The following is a presentation of TFNN, live at TFNN, The Money Masters. Money Masters. Good day, Money Masters and Treasure Hunters. Welcome to the July 16th, terrific Tuesday edition of the Money Masters Show. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, and I am grateful for your presence here today. My outcome, as always, is to help you to become a better Money Master and to provide you with tools that empower human potential. Because living up to our potential, folks, that is something we must master each and every day. So let's begin with an empowering belief or two. You know what's talked about? It's a dream. What's envisioned, that's exciting. But what's planned, folks, that becomes possible. And you know something? What's scheduled, well, that is real. Remember, no man, no woman is happy unless they have found a way to contribute beyond themselves. I say schedule your happiness by contributing to others. And think about it like this. For whatever it is that is going on in your life, if you can't, you must. And if you must, guess what? You can. Remember, identify your problems, but give the power of your energy to the solution. 5% of your time on the problem 95% of your time on the solution. That alone, folks, that one little thing will totally change your life. Success. Success leaves clues, and that's why I want you to understand patterns, candlestick charting out there. That's why I want you to understand how to read the message of the markets. Feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. I will be happy to answer your technical question. You know, maybe you're maybe just starting off taking a look at Maybe it's something as simple as just trying to identify swing points. Whatever it is, you can give us a call. I'll be happy to uh, help you. It's all about contributing to you. So let's go take a read. Let's go get a read here on these uh, markets right now. Uh, we've got the uh, Dow here is uh, up uh, two points. A flat market S&P down 82 cents. It'll turn green here shortly. Composite up uh, 222. Russell 2000 down uh, 10 cents out here. Let's start off by taking a look at the S&P 500. Let's go. Let's go count them, folks. We can count yesterday. One. And back, look at all these green update candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Through yesterday, that was eight days coming off of July 3rd. Today would be the uh, ninth out there. That also would give us 13 of the past uh, 15 if you get a up close today. You know, that's what we're going to, well, we're at least going to see what the S&P wants to do. It's got to get up and test that May 22nd high. It just has to. That's that's the must uh, for the S&P 500. 1687.18 before it gives us a next signal out here. You get a close above that level. And that says, well, the uh, drift, the drip, it could continue higher out here. But right now, uh, has not uh, tested that level. Got to wait for a test of that area. We know it's coming in there with light volume. We'll take a look at that when we go take a look at the uh, SPY uh, in the marketplace. But that is the uh, target. And this has been a heck of a uh, string out here. If we take a look at uh, moving averages, exponential moving averages, they're all lined up on the bullish side here. The 200 uh, is the uh, green squiggly line out there. The 50-day is the blue line on my chart. If you're watching this on T on uh, uh, at uh, Tiger TV. Uh, I know you're watching us in the uh, den. And if you'd like to watch us, uh, you know, we stream live to your uh, smartphone, your smart pad out there. Just go to the homepage of TFN.com. Over on the right hand side, you'll see a little square. It's got some uh, uh, phones in there, pads in there. Click on that, and you will see this show stream live right to your device. And you can get the archive as well on Channel 10. That way you can take a look at these patterns along uh, with us. I uh, hear. So a small body, you know, the, the bodies of the candle starting to get a little bit smaller out here as you're coming into the resistance of that uh, May 22nd high, 1687. Expect that to most likely be a time out area. Whether that's going to be a hit today on Terrific Tuesday or not, you know, Tuesdays typically, I don't know what that string is out there uh, since the uh, beginning of the uh, year, but that string is even probably more impressive than eight days in a, a row here on the S&P 500. Volume-wise, let's go take a look at what the uh, spies here are doing this morning. You've got the uh, SPY trading out at 168.11. Volume in the first uh, 41 minutes of trading. 14 million shares. Yesterday did 69 million shares. 
Uh, the day before on Friday, 100 million shares all going into May 22nd, 243 million shares. Really does not have the energy to bust out that level. It most certainly has the energy to take on that level. That would be 169.07. You trade at 168.17. That's what it wants to uh, do out there. You can see that nine day crossing over the 18 day exponential moving average. That is short term bullish out there in the marketplace. We can see uh, on the uh, bottom of the uh, chart here, we're taking a look at the relative strength uh, in indicator Relative strength indicator, not yet towards, uh, not yet uh, at the uh, overbought uh, uh, territory, but very close to it, and I suspect we'll get into that uh, territory as the spies go and finally test that May twenty third high out there. Unless it closes below one sixty five seventeen, that's the low of May twenty second. Uh, then you know you can say, all right, it didn't want to, it didn't have enough energy to uh, test the highs, but so long as it's traveling in between one sixty five seventeen and one sixty nine oh seven, it'll go make that climb all the way up to the top at 169.07. Let's go check in on the uh, other ETFs. We'll go back and forth here. Let's take a look at the IEW and the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 out here, it's got a couple of different patterns that it is trying to complete. Uh, your A to B equals CD pattern coming off of the swing point low of April 18th. That level, 89.13. That's your A point. Your B point out here is none other than May 22nd's high, 100.38. Does a retracement into the uh, June 24th level. We take a look at that retracement. Looks like sweet. 618 out there, the 618 retracement, 93.43. It actually got down to 93.83, 40 cent difference out there. No big deal. Now, if we take a look at price as it's traveling along that C to D axis out here, what does that tell us? That's right. It tells us that it's got enough energy to at least move up to 105.08. That would be your one to one A to B equals C D. That would also complete a 1.618 butterfly cell. But got to be careful because the Russell 2000. Is actually saying 10508. Oh, Schmidt, it wants to go up to 108. Period. So we'll have to uh, keep an eye on uh, that. This also, you know, take a look at the string of up sessions. One, two, three, four, five. It's still, we got to get a six, seven, eight out there as uh, well inside the marketplace. So a bit extended here. You can see in the IWM, it has moved into the overbought uh, uh, territory. But it, uh, what, the, what does that say? It says, you know what? It ought to get up to 104.50, 105.08, maybe pull back a bit, just work off that oversold uh, condition. But uh, volume wise, no, it doesn't have volume wise. But uh, price wise, as we take a look at the uh, move out here, uh, and as we take a look at the uh, breadth of the uh, marketplace, uh, no chance for the bear to take control of the market today. The bears would need a really bad day, and it can't do it. It would need more than 3,211 net declining issues in the New York Stock Exchange in order for the bears to take control. There's not 3,211 issues that are traded, uh, and so therefore there's no possibility that the bears, they can push the uh, bulls back, but they can't take control of the uh, ball today. If we go take a look at the actual Russell 2000 index, let's go check out the numbers on that and the patterns inside that. As we take a look at uh, that is traveling right now at 10.43, really the same pattern uh, that we uh, took a look at on the IWM. You can see you got the A to B equals CD. That's what I've got drawn in here. 10.52 is the uh, magic uh, number on that, but they could take a look at price here along the inside track, a uh, different inside track than Basil's inside track. Nonetheless, on the uh, left-hand side of the C to D leg of your A to B equals CD up, that says it's going to run into that rising price channel. Maybe that's going to be right around the uh, 10.75 five-ish uh, type uh, level out here. So that's where it wants to go. 1082 is not out of the uh, question. Yeah, no volume. But, uh, you know, it's volume, volume schmolium. It's volume, though, when it does, when things do fall off of the uh, price chart out here, they'll head back down to that June 24th level pretty quickly out there. And so the further that we see price move away from there and no volume come into this uh, move out here, there's nothing to stop the fall other than the volume bars out there. And, unfortunately, they don't – well, they really – start i guess you could say june 20th maybe the top of june 20th 977 that might be an area maybe you could say the top of june uh, 20th out there at around 999 uh traveling to 1043 right now so that would still be a decent uh, jump down but i think it's the june 24th level that it would want to actually travel to let's go take a look at the dow here see what the dow is actually uh, doing 
Uh, that really acting just like the S&P 500. So we know that our two weak links in the marketplace are basically 530 stocks, or represented by 530 stocks. That would be the Dow and the S&P 500. The Dow here wants to go tag 15.542 uh, out there right now, traveling at 15 to 485. It most certainly can make that move here uh, today. If it closes over that, well, then we've got to start taking a look at other chart patterns out here. One of those chart patterns most certainly could be an expansion of swing points, May 20 seconds high down to the low on uh, June 24th. That expansion would take you all the way up to 15,811 in the marketplace. But one thing at a at time, first we'll see if it can get over the 15,542 or if that's just really a signal that it's tired and it wants to go ahead and pull back and retrace. Where could the Dow pull back and retrace to? Well, this uh, trend line coming off of the uh, November 16th level, that would be your first touch point. Your second touch point would be the uh, low from December 31st and your third touch point, believe it or not, is June 24th. So that is a, a heck of a, a trend line. So as prices fall, we would look for that to be the first area of support, and that is inside the uh, Dow. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow Diamonds. Let's go see what they're doing. We're going to see here the same type of patterns. No real volume here on the uh, way up. And the Dow Diamonds taking on the May 22nd swing point, which has 13 million shares, 12.8 to be exact. Yesterday coming in there with 2.7 Jeez, Louise, let me make sure that that is correct. Yeah, talk about light volume, summertime trading out here. So far today, volume behind the uh, move here at uh, 1017, 45 minutes into it, 577,000 shares. I don't think that's going to be enough volume to take out 12.8 million shares, but the high in the diamonds, that's where it wants to travel to. 155.14 is the number. It's at 154.62 right now. Let's go finish this baby off by taking a look at the cues out here. The the queues here up and over the May 22nd swing point. That does have volume 59 million shares. That actually becomes now a support level, even though you got up it. Up, up it. How about that? How about that for great English language out here? Even though it got up above it on lighter volume. 59 million shares. That was taken out with a total of 31 million shares. So we'll look to see if this is a real breakout. You'll see it come back. It'll test that area, meaning 74.95. And if that area holds, that will set up the move inside the uh, queues to the uh, 77.24, maybe even 79.46 out here. Uh, so it's really going to come from where? It's going to come from well, it's going to come from all four of these. You'd like to see some synergy with regard to messages in the uh, markets out here. But right now, it's the spies and diamonds that will give us some signals as we see those May 22nd swing points attacked out there. If we go take a look here at the, uh, let's go take a look at the New York Stock Exchange as opposed to the NDX. Uh, let's spend a few moments on that. Let's go see what that is uh, doing. Uh, we know in the New York Stock Exchange, in order for the Bears to take control of the ball, they would need more than 3,211 uh, net declining issues. That is not going to happen today. Right now, the New York Stock Exchange traveling right at the .786 retracement, coming off of the May 22nd level down to the June 24th area. But what the New York Stock Exchange is now doing, it is traveling inside the May 22nd swing point. So long as it does that, it may want to actually move up into 96.95 level. That would be 150 points away from where it is right now. So no reversal signals here inside the New York Stock Exchange. Our call in number is 877 Seven nine two seven six six four eight. We've got the Dow trading off about four points. S and P down one. I'll try to make this trading session as exciting as I possibly can for you because the fireworks in the market looks like they have blown their load out there. We'll be right back, folks. With over three decades of commodity trading experience, Andy Hecht has developed a system that combines both technicals and fundamentals. He calls this approach Technomental, and now you can put it to work for yourself with his brand new service, the Technomental Commodity Report. In this weekly newsletter, which comes out each Thursday morning, Andy gives you his analysis of the market price direction bias using fundamentals, and then specific trade recommendations including entry and exit points using technicals. The recommendations in the newsletter are always based on stocks and ETFs, so a futures account is not required, and Andy will often use options in the recommendations as well. Andy will tell you where to get in, where to get out, and he'll outline the risk-reward profile for all recommendations. 
To get your month-long free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report by Andy Hecht while locking in the low introductory rate, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Traditionally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow down uh, seven. S and P off uh, two. Uh, let's see. Uh, you got the Chipotle Mexican Grill uh, jump into the uh, downside here. CMG is a ticker symbol. They're off about uh, two percent here, down six uh, bucks. Uh, we'll go take a look at that stock chart here momentarily. First, right now on the screen here, we've got the uh, combination of the uh, VIX. That's at the top of the uh, chart, and the S and P five hundred at the uh, bottom of the chart. Right now, the VIX traveling well below that fifty-day uh, exponential moving average. That number fifteen thirty-seven. You got the VIX at thirteen. 85 right now you know uh, there's no market correction that's going to happen with the vix being below the 50 day you can have the market pull back a bit uh, but there's not going to be any kind of market uh, deterioration any kind of serious market correction until the vix gets above the 50 day exponential moving average and it is not threatening that area right now uh, let's go take a look here at uh, the Chipotle. Let's go see what it is doing. CMG is its uh, ticker symbol out here. 
This thing has uh, struggled in the uh, past. It has had some problems. Uh, let's go ahead and actually let's start from a scratch out here. Let's go ahead and delete everything and take a look at what uh, Chipotle is doing now. Chipotle really had a, a breakdown, a nervous breakdown here on uh, July 20th. 9.7 million shares to the uh, downside. Truly fell out of bed the night before it had closed at 404.59. Now let's draw some lines. Let's draw some lines at the uh, bottom of the candle. The gap has not been closed. It has clawed its way back. Back to that area hasn't yet tackled it. Uh, this is really setting up for a, a nice uh, coming back to the area where it broke down on light volume and is setting up a nice short up here. This is the types of stocks you want to short. Three hundred and ninety bucks. They've got a lot of downside potential. Now, not that there's not limit. Not that there's uh, not some upside potential. But you want to try to find stocks highest price stocks you can uh, because they are the ones. You know, if you if you bought a ten if you try to short a ten dollar stock, it'll have to go out of business in order for you to be able to make 10 bucks on the equity somebody could step in and buy them pay some kind of premium you know and you're talking about unlimited upside potential so you want to look for high valued stocks out there and chipotle is one of those now the uh, bottom of the uh, gap where it broke down july 19th it's really trading inside that uh, gap right now on that level again 396.98 uh, that candle itself has in fact let's put a uh, a volume bar on the bottom across my screen. That's really not the area that you're benchmarking, but it's nice to use that as a reference point because if price can come back into the area where it broke down on lighter volume, that even makes the trade that much better, at least being able to go ahead. doesn't mean the trade will work out, but it's that much better in coming back into an area where it broke down on lighter volume. So Chipotle, you want to be watching the 396.98 to 404.59 area. Uh, right now it's at uh, 377.26. Volume today on this down move, 118,000 shares. Not a big deal uh, considering it's going into 691. A little bit of a, a gap away here on uh, July 5th. It's got some decent support here. at some decent volume on the trading session of April 19th. 2.7 million shares, so it's got good support at 366-ish. And uh, change, 366.73 is the top of that April 19th candle out there. That does mean on the uh, short, let's assume that this completes the pattern, sets up the uh, short, you should expect that the first area of support is going to be around 366, maybe 343 out there. Then once it clears that area, should it clear that area on a uh, short, that's what opens up the uh, move back down into the uh, level of January 16th, around 280 bucks. Uh, so you're looking at a potential short right around 400, 399. And if we take a look at just the retracement coming off of the low that was put in here on October 20. 23rd, 2012, up to about that area. The 0.6 rate, a normal retracement would take in about 296 out there. Uh, and that is uh, that would be the uh, trade. Your stop on this, I, I don't know. You have to really take a look at it uh, when that uh, trade sets up. Uh, but you do want to take a look at what the average true range is on this equity. So uh, Chipotle uh, leading the charge on the way down here, but not exactly a ton of uh, technical damage here uh, just yet. Uh, let's go uh, take a look at what's going on inside some of the uh, ETFs with inside the S&P 500, uh, more so the sectors inside the S&P 500. Let's see. Let's start off here. We've got the XLE. Let's start off with this. I need to just uh, hit the button, make sure my charts are updated. The XLE traveling out at 81.47. Let's go see what it is doing. This has got the most bearish of patterns out here, meaning that it had formed uh, three different uh, cell signals uh, back at the highs out here in uh, May. Uh, May 23rd out here as it made its high at 83.95. Uh, went ahead and made an A to B equals CD down. If you want to see what that looks like, you'd come off of the high from May 22nd down to the low. Your, C, your B point is June 6th. Your C point is up here at uh, June 19th. Makes a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD. What holds it in place is the 200-day exponential moving average that acted as a, a support level. And now what we have seen here is a, a move back up into the May 22nd uh, swing point. That had 19 million shares as it moved up in there. It did it with 8.7 million. Yesterday, 10 million. Not enough volume to uh, get up there. But it could still, just like the market, it could still go ahead and uh, tag that May 22nd area at 83.95. Give us a call, folks. We'll be right back. With the stock market flirting with all-time highs and volatility back, now is the perfect time for a two-week free trial to Market Insights. 
On Monday, June 24th, Tom O'Brien closed out all five open positions in his daily newsletter, Market Insights, with all trades being profitable and ranging from a 2.23% gain all the way to more than an 11% gain in just one position for an incredible 32.7% profit combined between the five trades. Let Tom O'Brien's years of market experience work for you. If you'd like to see for yourself what kind of trading newsletter Tom O'Brien delivers to his clients each morning, then now is a perfect time to sign up for a two-week free trial to his daily newsletter, Market Insights. In a volatile market like we currently have, the potential for fast market moves like we've seen recently is a trader's dream. So don't wait any longer. Sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today at the front page of TFNN.com. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. You know, if you haven't had a chance to uh, test drive the art of timing the trade uh, charts out there, uh, go ahead and give that a shot. You know, there's nothing like uh, waking up in the morning, having a nice cup of java, of course, I don't drink coffee. We'll just call it a nice shot of wheatgrass while you're taking a look at the uh, scans from the night before of the different uh, Gartley buy-sell patterns that have uh, set up in the marketplace. It is such a, a beautiful piece of software. makes your work so easy out here. Let's take a look at one of the patterns uh, that uh, showed up. We're going to take a look at uh, Brocade out here. BRCD is the uh, ticker symbol, just to give you an idea for how this uh, works here. Now, this showed, this identified the uh, butterfly pattern, a 1.272 butterfly. That's an 
expansion of swing points, and as we take a look at, again, the ticker symbol BRCD out here, if we take a look at the swing point from March 14th, that price level 615, all the way down to the uh, low here, high volume low, by the way, uh, from uh, May 2nd out there, that level $5.14. If you take a look at the expansion between those two swing points, take a look at the price difference, multiply that price difference times 1.272, add it to the low of May 2nd. That's what's going to take you up into this $6.45 range out here now what's nice about this two things number one take a look at the uh, patterns here number one well no, number one you've got a high volume low so that that you like uh, that is uh, back at that may secondary number two you've got a 1.272 expansion number three you've got a hundred uh, percent move of a move that means coming all the way back to the swing point high that way you can go take a look at swing points and see what the volume well that takes you back to september 14 2012 that high was 644 the volume out there was 4.7 million shares as it came into that area, it did it with 5.5 million shares. So 5.5 against 4.7. Then say, ooh, you don't like that necessarily. So that might make you say, hmm. And the day before, you came in with 10 million shares. So you're coming in there with volume. You might say, you know, maybe I shouldn't take a, a short on this. Now, you would never take a short on this anyways. Because why? Because it's a $6 stock. So it's one of the reasons I want to be able to uh, show it to you. But I also want you, want you to understand and see the value of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, of the software in and just simply it being able to point out these different reversal patterns. Now, in fact, this uh, pattern is working, so where would this help you? How would this help you? You wouldn't short this stock, but maybe, you know, as this was coming into that swing point with volume, as you see that, in fact, it is uh, working off an overbought uh, condition just simply because price has moved up or the uh, RSI has moved up above the uh, 70 level out here. Maybe what you would start to watch for is, can this thing now go ahead and retrace? You'd be looking for a potential buy pattern. Maybe you were interested in buying this. I'm not saying that it's a buy. But if you were looking, you know, that's how I would not be looking at shorting this. I would be saying, hey, where would be a buy opportunity now that I know that this is actually working for me? Wouldn't you like to know that a stock is retracing out in the marketplace? Uh, you know, and this thing here, to pull back into that point six one eight level, that would be normal. That would be $5.60. You had some volume moving up into the swing point, 10 million shares, 5.5 million shares. That's a nice thing. Uh, going back to that September 14th uh, swing point area. Can this thing get back and actually test that high volume uh, low out here, maybe the top of it, uh, right at around the 552 to 560 range? That would be potentially as long as volume's not coming out of this thing. And by the way, volume's not coming out of it just yet. 715,000 shares today. That was going up with 10 million shares just two trading sessions ago. So that's how you can also uh, use this as a, a real nice scanner is to uh, take a look at all the different chart patterns that are out there in the marketplace. So that is, this is on uh, ticker symbol BRCD. I believe that is brocade. And if you haven't had a chance to check out the art of timing the trade charts, folks, uh, go do that. You can uh, test drive that uh, 30 days, uh, unconditional money back guarantee. There is nothing better out there in life than, uh, you know, expanding and, and then really having something do so much of the uh, work uh, for you. Let's go back and take a look at the uh, sectors inside the uh, inside the S&P 500. Before we went to that break, we were looking at the XLE. Now, key number inside the XLE is going to be 8097. That is going to be the swing point high from March 31st, 2011. 18 million shares there. Uh, you know, as price got above that area. And that's one place to look. But right now, if we take a look at a uh, potential pattern out here, uh, we come off of the May 22nd high down the June 24th low out here, and you can see it has actually formed a .786 Gertley sell pattern. It completed that pattern here yesterday. Uh, you are, if this fact you get a, a close below the open here from July 12th from Friday, that would be 81.35. The XLE would give you a, a bearish a signal out here. Uh, you'd like to see it to get back below the uh, March 11th area, that price point being uh, 30, uh, uh, I'm sorry, $80.97. Now, it is the XLE that, quite frankly, I think is one of the most bearish of all of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. What I mean by that are all of these patterns here that have really worked very well. So there's significant resistance up here at the uh, top of that May 22nd uh, level, that price being 83.95. Now, we're talking about the XLE. That means what you do is you go take a look and see what's going on with, uh, with inside Exxon Mobil. So let's go take a look at Exxon Mobil because that is such a waiting inside the energy sector here. And Exxon Mobil, just so that you put things uh, together here, Exxon Mobil is in a seven point trading range out here. And it attempted to get over that. It failed to do so. Getting over that means a close above 93.67. We'll call it 93.75. That's 
that's your October 19, 2012 level. 15 million shares up there. As it tried to get over that, it did it with only 11 million shares. Or, I'm sorry, it did it with 16 million shares. So it was pushing up in that area on July 11, but still couldn't get above that. That says we got to pay attention here because uh, you've got ExxonMobil pushing into a uh, top of a consolidation level with some volume. Uh, it's backed off just slightly, but uh, volume-wise on the back off, not anything big. So maybe it's just recharging. And if uh, we see a seven dollar, if we see a close above the area of ninety three, we're going to call ninety three seventy five, with more than twelve million shares. Uh, what we're going to see is we're going to see Exxon Mobil move up to the hundred dollar price level. That would be your seven dollar trading range. So if you're trading the XLE, the energy sector, you absolutely must. You got to make it a must to make sure you're paying attention to what the chart patterns are inside of uh, inside of Exxon Mobil. Let's go to uh, Brent in California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing well. How about you, Steve? I am doing excellent. Thanks so much for asking. Uh, now, Brent, or is it Brent Wood where you're at in California? It's Martinez, California. Where, where's that near? It's near San Francisco. It's about uh, probably 20 to 25 miles east of uh, San Francisco. Okay, cool. What a what a nice what a nice area that is. Have you been up there for uh, for long? I've lived in this area my entire life. Oh man, what a what what a what a what a great area up there! Uh, you wanted to take a look at uh, Amazon A M Z N. Tell tell me what you're doing, how I can help you out. I'm considering it as a short. It looks like oh. it's maybe completing some expansion patterns up here. So I just want to get your opinion. Absolutely. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, Amazon. Now, in the case of Amazon, it's part of the uh, NASDAQ 100. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to also make sure that you get the uh, movement right on the actual uh, index out here. And we take a look at uh, Amazon. Uh, we're taking a look at uh, you're looking at a expansion of the uh, swing point here from what January 25th maybe uh, that high of 284 down to the low that was put in on May 1st. Is, is that what you're looking at, or just want to want to try to Match up with yeah, what you're There's a couple taking. different ones, yeah. So the bigger one from uh, basically about 284 to 245, and there was this one recently about a twenty dollar move. So you put okay. them all together, okay. it seems to be yeah, it's getting up there. At, uh, they all seem to coincide at that level. Absolutely. Okay. So as we take a look at uh, as we take a look at uh, Amazon here. Let me just do this, put this up here. You know, Amazon is in the extreme, I mean extreme, overbought uh, territory, and it has done that 1.618 expansion, which has likely set up the uh, butterfly pattern. So let's go, uh, we'll go ahead and color that in on the uh, charts here. Now, are you watching us on Tiger TV? I'm not at the moment. Not at the moment, okay. Uh, so you can, uh, if we take a look at it, it has, uh, now the A to B equals CD. So our A to B, I want to take a look at what that uh, really looks like here. So your A point on this is coming off of the uh, May 2nd uh, low out here. Uh, and uh, that low is uh, 245.78. Your B point on this is going to be your June 19th level, 284.34. And the uh, low is going to be your uh, retracement uh, back on June 24th. Now, one of the things you want to take a look at here, uh, Brent, and uh, is the uh, is the retracement that it did here. And that retracement was only a point three eight two. So let me just, I'm going to erase some things on my screen here. And this is something that you want to really pay attention to. So, again, I'm going to go here from the, do you use retracements as part of your tools? Yes, I do. Okay. So you want to come off that May 1st low all the way up to the high that was put in on June 9th. And what you'll see is that was only a .382 retracement coming into June 24th out there. And the reason that you want to be paying attention to that is because, you know, we use .382, .618, and .786. The .382 is used to give you the idea of the strength of a move out here. And when you only do a retracement of .382 on your A to B equals CD, up or down here, it tells you that you've got some real strength in here, some real energy, some real unwinding that it wants to do. And as we take a look at it, may, you know, go go play the replay of this. You'll see coming off of that June 24th swing point out here, this thing has had some big energy in it. Maybe not so much uh, volume-wise, although the volume on July 12th, the 4.5 million shares, not too bad, plus a wide-ranging bar coming into that 1 to 1 A to B equals CD, which would be 302.56. This says this wants higher price. And it may not just be the 31286 level it may more likely be trying to get up into 32591 uh, out there so i don't you know that you haven't if you were going to short this 
You would want to make sure that you see a bearish reversal signal, some type of bearish engulfing candle. Maybe it's a shooting star, and you're going to want to see some volume, some follow-up, some uh, continued move down on that following trading session. But the A to B equals CD up on this is is strong. Yes, we have that 1.618 expansion up here, but when you're completing a butterfly or a Gartley pattern and you're coming into it with a wide-ranging bar, it says caution. It absolutely says you know be very, very cautious. And then you really want to take a look at that A to B equals CD pattern. Now, that's on the daily. Uh, I want to get a feel for what this is doing on a, a weekly chart out here as well. So, you know, it's up at all-time highs. And if I take a look at a longer A to B equals CD, this should be longer. This should be coming off of the December 30th, 2011 uh, swing point. That would be your A, your B on this should be the uh, September 14th, 2012. Uh, then your C point on this would be the level of November 16th. All those really being key dates. Interesting how, you know, that has worked out here. Uh, the one-to-one -one on the weekly has a set up at 315.90. And uh, let me just uh, see if we, cost, if we cross that uh, B point with uh, volume. B point again being September 14th out there. And so on September 14th, the volume was a total of uh, 14 million shares. And when it crossed through there, it did it with 15 million shares actually on November 3rd. Uh, did it again with about 11 million shares. So it's it's over that B point really with volume. And uh, it says at least it wants to get up, uh, you know, your 308. It wants probably another 7 bucks up here, at least another $8. But be careful on this because on the daily chart, this thing has some real energy uh, behind it. Do this. Make sure that the uh, make sure that the NDX, the Qs, have given you a reversal signal before you would take a look at shorting Amazon. Okay. Yeah, I just okay. wanted to see the num the numbers you're talking about were at what my you know, my target was as well. So up yeah. there about three three fifteen up to and like you said, it could go up even higher. So I'll just I'm just gonna be patient, wait and see what it does. Yeah, because you know you you had you had a decent sign of strength with four and a half million on July twelfth as it came into that area. So it says for whatever reason Amazon wants to uh, keep moving higher. All right, Brent. All right, thanks a lot, Stephen. If you have hey. a second, uh, just after I go off the phone, uh, look at uh, gold GLD because it looks like twelve ninety two has been some struggle for, it, but it seemed like it wants to wants to get through it today. So yeah, you are, you, are you long or are you long or short? I, I, or? I am. I, I'm, I'm long. Yes. Good, good, good man. I think it's a good reward to risk trade out there. So good, good trade. All right, thanks a lot, Steve. Have a good day. Huh? Hey, my pleasure. Right. Thanks so much for calling. Let's go to uh, Rob in Orlando. Rob, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Thank you for uh, taking my call. Um, my my I'm, pleasure. I'm uh, long on A and B, and I want to see what more should I invest more or a way for retracement, of course. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. Was that was that N as in Nancy or M as in Mary? And as an answer? A and B is the uh, ticker symbol out here. I'm sorry? V, v as in Victor. V, v and B. A, Apple, a, N. A and V. Gotcha. Okay. E eventually, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, let me, give me a second. Let me get the Q-tip. I'll get the wax out of my ears. My apology for that. So okay. A and V. And tell them, so you are, you are, you're long this equity? Yes. Okay. And uh, t tell me what your, tell me what your, your question is. Um, where should I uh, add more to the position? Okay. Uh, so we're taking a look at Allied Nevada, uh, one of the uh, gold miners out here. These folks are uh, located in uh, Nevada, of course, and has a real nice sign of strength for you here on uh, June 28th, uh, traveling right now at 6.05. It pulled back nicely uh, into that uh, area, uh, tested the uh, it tested that little breakout of 5.42, did it with volume of only 3.4 million shares and then 3 million shares. Um, are you Are you in the green here on the trade? Yes, so far. Okay, so far. So so far, so good. Uh, is there is the risk that you have on the trade? Is it is it more than one percent of your working capital? No, one percent. One percent. Okay. Um, and is it is are there other gold stocks that you're that you're also taking a look at? I'm just wondering if you wouldn't want to maybe diversify a little bit here. Um, I'm not sure which ones then. You're not sure which ones. Okay. So, you know, to answer your question here on, on Allied Nevada, uh, if, you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to take an additional position and you're in the money, now would be the time to add. Uh, you know, your stop on this would be any time this thing closes below 540 out there. But there are some other really good stocks maybe for you to uh, take a uh, look at. Uh, but if you wanted to add to Allied Nevada, I would say now would be the time to do it. 
All right, Ralph. Thank you. Hey, you bet. Thanks so much for calling. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back, folks. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the gold report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Nowhere, spelled N-O-W-H-E-R-E. -E. At one point, we've all been there. Whether it be our health, career, or our finances, some might be there right now. So where are you when it comes to your trading and investing? Better yet, where would you like to be? The good news? I can take you from nowhere to now here right now. Same letters, N-O-W-H-E-R-E, -E, just a totally different emphasis and focus. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN, and on July 25th at 6.30 p.m., I'm going to share with you a trading strategy that I began on May 10th when the S&P was at 1627 and closed at the same price eight weeks later. That's right, the S&P went nowhere versus a trading strategy that produced a 100% hypothetical return at that same period of time, and it's now here for you. Subscribers to my daily newsletter service, Mastering Probability, have free access to this exciting live workshop. The trend is your friend. All the details are on the homepage of TFNN.com. Decisions shape your destiny, and your trading destiny is now here for you. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs>
Welcome back, folks. And, uh, you know, just going back to uh, Rob's question, he was taking a look at Allied uh, Nevada out there. And, again, you know, I gave him the, the information, you know, and now is a good time to uh, go ahead and add to the uh, trade out there. Now, that, the assumption is that you're going to go ahead and use a, a fairly wide stop here. You're building a position, so nothing to get carried away. He's already got a 1% uh, risk inside uh, this equity. There are a number of uh, great uh, gold equities out there. Uh, you know, if you're now is the time uh, for you to uh, check out uh, Tom's newsletter, The Gold Report. Uh, you know, there's never been a better time to be able to do that or some of the other newsletters here at TFNN. If you have not test driven my newsletter, Mastering Probability, a number of uh, equities in the uh, gold marketplace as well, metals market that uh, we've got interest in there. So you can go test drive that for 30 days. Comes with an unconditional money back uh, guarantee. Make sure you're using a wide enough stop and that you are building some positions out here in the marketplace. If we do take a look at the uh, gold miner vectors uh, trust out here, the GDX. So right now it's making a 100% move of a uh, move, uh, meaning it's coming right into the uh, most recent swing point here from July 1st. That had 32 million shares. Uh, the top of that is uh, 25, uh, 20 out here so far. It's hit 25, 18, uh, 6.5 million shares, 6.6 .6 million shares in the first hour and a half of trading. So pretty decent volume coming into uh, that level. It's off the bottom. Expect this to be an area here of uh, resistance. You know, not a lot of uh, believers out here, uh, but uh, you know, it's a, it's an excellent time now if you are bottom fishing to uh, start taking a look at uh, some of the uh, different metals uh, stocks out there. You know, even uh, Brent from California, he uh, was suggesting taking a look at uh, uh, gold itself. If we go take a look at the uh, gold contract out here, you know, right now that is traveling out at twelve ninety one. Uh, it wants to get back and at, at least test thirteen twenty one fifty. I suspect when it gets back and tests that area, that high volume bar from April 16th, it's actually going to close inside that. And when it closes inside that, that's what uh, may set off the uh, firestorm here for all those folks that are short. They're going to be saying, oh, no. Because 1415 and 1561 are really the uh, next moves because that is nothing more than coming off of the uh, swing point from October 5th out at 1798 out there, all the way down to the low that was put in on July 1st down at 11.79. A normal bounce, just a normal bounce, takes you up to 14.15. You're 12.92 right now. Well, the thing is, the boat is lopsided here. And I mean the, the non-reportable group, the individual traders out there, are at their highest net short position ever. And that's a dangerous thing because on the other side of the boat are the big money players out there. And they're the ones that could afford to uh, ride things down. Uh, and uh, so they are close to a net long positions, which they, we haven't seen that since 2001 out there. So uh, 14, 15, you know, you take a look at a stock chart. It doesn't really matter what it is that you're looking at. They will behave the same way out here. And a normal bounce would take in to 14.15, and a real normal bounce is always going to be back to the point six one eight retracement, 15.61. So that would put a lot of pain at the uh, pump if you were on the short side of uh, gold out there. Right now we've got the uh, Dow is off uh, about uh, 15 points. S&Ps are down uh, three. Not a, a ton of movement in the marketplace. Google is the one that is uh, off a bit here. It's off three bucks. Uh, let's go uh, peek in real quickly on uh, Google, see what it is doing because it has had one heck of a, a nice run out there. Give me a moment here to pull that up on the uh, chart, see if there's any bearish candlesticks or anything inside uh, Google. Uh, and really, they had a doji yesterday, so it's a little bit uh, tired here as it came into its resistance area. Still closed above it, which was your May 16th high out there at 919.98. You're at 921 here. Uh, volume today, 736,000 shares. Uh, really not a big deal. In fact, uh, it's got support at the top of May 15th, which is $916. Stay tuned. Basil Chapman is up uh, next, folks. Have a, a terrific Tuesday. Great to be back with you. And a special thank you to both Basil and Tom for covering for me from uh, yesterday and uh, Monday. Have a great Tuesday, folks. I look forward to seeing you in the morning. Take care. Recently, Basil Chapman has had some outstanding trades in his newsletter, The Opening Call. Each morning by 9 a.m., Basil uploads his newsletter to the TFNN servers so that his subscribers can access his expert trading advice. Basil gives his take on the direction of key indices and updates any active trades that his subscribers are currently in. 
just recently. Basil subscribers closed out a short position and Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMG, for more than an $86 profit per share. Over a 20% gain in just one position. If you'd like to try out Basil Chapman's newsletter, the opening call, then visit the front page at TFNN.com and click Trading Newsletters. There you'll find Basil's newsletter, the opening call, where you can request a free sample copy. Also, don't miss Basil's program, the Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN.